Hello Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. I am so excited today to bring you an amazing craft haul I recently made with Timu. Timu reached out to me and asked if I would like to collab with them. And when I checked out their website at timu.com, I knew I had to. So today's video is sponsored by Timu, an online marketplace that sells a wide variety of household goods, tech tools, fashion, kitchenware, and of course, crafting supplies. If you are looking for any specific item, you can go to their website or download their app and browse through their various categories, view the best sellers list or new arrivals section, or you can also enter a keyword in the search bar. The prices are greatly discounted and you can often find items you would need at up to 90% savings. They also offer free shipping and should you need it, they also offer free returns for up to 90 days. And if you stay till the end of this video, I will be offering an additional $100 discount for all my viewers. So for today's video, I will be featuring a bunch of crafting supplies from Timu. The theme will be everything in the area of silver embellishments, including a variety of bling gems, rhinestones, and mirrors. And towards the end of the video, like I said before, I'll share with you an exclusive link and promo code where you and all my viewers can download the Timu app to receive a whopping $100 coupon bundle for your own purchase. Yes, $100. You will see later how much crafting supplies you can buy along with anything else that Timu offers. And with that said, let's dive right in. First off, you can see that everything they sent me was securely packaged in this orange bag, which has been reinforced with a lot of strong tape. I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut open the bag. And while I do that, I would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what glam home decor projects you would like to see next. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me to continue growing my channel by putting out more amazing craft tutorials for you. This first item I'm showing you here is a roll of contact paper, but this is not your typical contact paper. As you can see, it is silver and it actually has a stainless steel look to it. This contact paper is the peel and stick kind and this roll came in 39.4 inches by 15.8 inches. I can't wait to try this paper. Comment down below and let me know if I should use this contact paper on a piece of furniture, say a table or a chest of drawers. Next up is this sheet of self-adhesive rhinestone glue mesh. This sheet measures 7.87 inches and 4.72 inches. The sheet can be cut to size easily with a pair of scissors. Simply decide on the number of rows of rhinestones and then cut. The faux rhinestones are brilliant and would be perfect to embellish a pencil container, a table, leg, or just about any flat surface you can think of. Next up is this rhinestone picker tool. It comes encased in a clear plastic box. Once open, a quick assembly is required by screwing in the white tip. And I'll also do a small demo here to show you how to use the tool. The white rubbery end is used to pick up loose flat back gems so you can place it on the desired surface area. You'll see how easy and quick it is to pick up the gems. On the opposite end, you can use the tip to make small adjustments to the positioning of the gems once it is placed on the desired surface area. Once done, place the picker tool back into the plastic encasement for safe storage until the next use. Next up is this string of silver pearl beads. These are half round flat back beads with a cotton line chain that makes it easy to either glue to a flat surface area or sew into a piece of fabric. I love using these beads as borders for DIY keepsake boxes and trays. Next up is this roll of beautiful crystal diamond ribbon trim, which comes with a self-adhesive backing. This roll comes with three rows of clear gems that is one yard in total length. 
take a look at how beautiful it glitters in the light. This roll can be cut to size and can be applied to any flat surface with no extra glue. This is perfect to embellish glass vases and containers. I can't wait to use this in my next craft project. Next up is a yard of silver rhinestone ribbon. This ribbon comes with clusters of faux rhinestone all along the ribbon strip. You can see how it sparkles brilliantly against the light. The back is flat and usually I will cut it to size and then apply a little bit of hot glue to the back before adhering it to whatever piece I am embellishing. I have used these ribbons to embellish clear bowls and it is amazing how trimming the edge of a bowl with this ribbon instantly upscales the entire piece. Next up are two rolls of more rhinestone ribbon, but these rolls are different as they come with clear square gems in between the smaller cuts of faux rhinestone. Each roll comes with two rows, so you can cut them to your desired length and then apply them as trim. I can see this ribbon applied as a border around the outside of an empty cookie tin. It would transform that cookie tin into the most beautiful upscale jewelry box. Next up is another roll of beautiful crystal rhinestone ribbon. This one comes in a very unique heron bone design. Once again, I am absolutely speechless at how elegant and absolutely gorgeous this ribbon is. Comment down below and let me know any suggestions on how I can use this herring bone design rhinestone ribbon in my next craft project. And here is another pack of rhinestone ribbon trim. These ones come with a cross stitch design and the ribbon is equally sparkly, perfect to add as a border to a plain mirror. It's also self adhesive, so no glue is required. Just remember to peel away the clear plastic to expose the adhesive backing. And here is the last of the rhinestone ribbon trims before we move on to more crafting materials. This one is a little different in that it is not self-adhesive. Similar to the silver beads from earlier, this ribbon comes a, with a flat backing, so you can easily glue it to a flat surface or sew it onto your fabric. See how gorgeous the bow design is? And just before we continue with the rest of the haul, I just want to give you the final look of a few of the rhinestone ribbon trims. See how brilliant they all are. I can't wait to use these in my next craft projects. Let me know down in the comments which ribbon you like the best. Or maybe you are like me and you like all of them equally and can't choose only one. Now on to the rest of the crafting haul. This package here are tiny little round mirrors. Yes, they are little mirror stickers. The front comes with a plastic film, which you will need to remember to peel off in order to reveal the mirror. The back comes with a wax backing that you will need to peel off before adhering it to a flat surface. These mirrors are slightly larger than my thumb, measuring approximately two centimeters. And you'll notice for the price, you get 100 of these mirror stickers. If you have any ideas how I can use this in a future craft project, comment down below. Your ideas are welcome. This next item is a bag of acrylic crystal ornaments, perfect for making your own chandeliers. These hanging crystals are attached by silver jump rings, so you can adjust the length by hooking or unhooking the crystal pieces. On the bottom of each is a teardrop piece that is absolutely beautiful. Next up is a liquid chrome marker. It is supposed to give a mirror-like finish. Let's see what the box says. I'm also going to open up the box. And here you can see the pen comes wrapped in plastic, which I'll remove. And removing the cap from the pen, I can see there is a yellow felt tip. Let's check the box again for any special instructions. So this pen is supposed to be waterproof and permanent and is highly opaque and works on most surfaces. Before using it, it says to shake the pen and then press the nib down for the first time. Okay, so here I go, shake, 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 and I'm gonna press the nib down a few times. Okay, so it looks like I have to press the nib down a few times and hold for a few seconds or two to apply the marker liquid to 
descend onto the nib. Let's test it out. Hmm, it writes pretty smooth, glides smoothly onto the paper surface, and it definitely is metallic, but I'm not sure it is giving me a mirror effect. It is definitely very pretty, and I think for my purposes, I think this one is a keeper. Next up is a pack of 200 sheets of silver leaf foil sheets. I have to admit, I have never used these foil sheets before, but I am definitely looking forward to trying them. I have some picture frames in gold and in white that I may want to transform to silver with these sheets. All the items I showed you today were carefully handpicked based on my future glam home decor projects. And if you would like to order any of these beautiful craft supplies along with any other items, make sure you download the Timu app using my special link to receive a $100 coupon bundle. Or if you have already downloaded the Timu app, use my special discount code PIC6758 to receive the $100 discount bundle on your next purchase. I'll also include both the exclusive link and promo code in the description box. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, please make sure you check out my latest tutorials that will inspire your imagination and glam up your space. In my playlists, you will see quick and easy tutorials for DIY mirrored trays, wall sconces, chandelier lamps, elegant side tables, mirrored wall decor, glammed keepsake boxes, and much, much more.